So this is hot off the press. Mm -hmm. So a local veteran releasing a memoir telling the story of his time as a Green Beret during the war in Iraq. Daryl Utt is here, the author of Grit to Glory. Um, thanks for joining us. As soon as we heard about this, mm -hmm. we said, we've got to have yeah. this guy on this show because not only are you local, but your story really does resonate with mm -hmm. so many people, so many veterans, mm -hmm. and not just veterans of the Iraq War. I'm sure you probably, have, is that what you've discovered along the way? Yeah, and I'm really grateful and thankful yeah. to be here. You guys have been really receptive. But yeah, this book definitely, uh, I mean, this book is centered around Iraq, mm -hmm. but um, if I had to describe this book in three words or, or less, I would mm -hmm. say it's a blueprint for life. Mm. Huh. So, I mean, different occupations, different different businesses. I mean, this is definitely a book where you can pull lessons, uh, right. leadership, resilience, mm -hmm. you name it. Wow. So why did you want to write this story? And in the process of it, being a veteran, did you find mm -hmm. it a little bit That's therapeutic? A yeah, yeah it, it definitely was therapeutic. Uh, but I wanted to share uh, some of the lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth with Iraq and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of veterans do. So I, I wanted to turn a negative into a positive. I mean, we still have a lot of great stories uh, and yeah. lessons that we can share. Right. And hopefully this will inspire folks as well. And I wanted to honor the people that I served with, not just my Special Forces Green Beret brothers mm -hmm. and, and sisters, but right. other people that, that serve. So, um, so yeah, I'm really proud of this book. And you've got West wow. Virginia roots. Talk about your background, where you're from, where you yeah. went to high school, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, so I'm a Westmoreland kid, uh, mm -hmm. born and raised Huntington, West Virginia, graduated from Vincent High School in 1990. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, it's kind of unique, it all goes full circle because tomorrow at 9.30, I'm speaking at Spring Valley High School, <laughs> which, you know, yeah, of course. is part of Vincent. Right, right. Vincent yeah. Uh, so that's it's kind wonderful. of going full circle. Mm -hmm. Sure has, yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. and that's, a, I, you know, you want to get your message out um, because, it, it, you feel like you ha were inspired to tell this story, and in, in the process, you're inspiring other people. Yeah, yeah and, and if I can, I'd like to talk about a few Please. people that inspired me when I was yes. growing up. Yeah. Uh, some of the teachers, and if you listen to any of my podcasts uh, that are out there, and there's a bunch, uh, a lot of people hear about Coach Thornburg. He was my football coach at Benson, oh, wow. and he was a National Guard Special Forces R major. Mm. Uh, there's also my second grade te teacher, Mrs. Eskew, my fifth grade teacher, Donna Norris, mm -hmm. really kind of helped build that foundation for me. Yeah. And, uh, and I have to mention Huntington police officer, Paul Harmon. Oh yeah, Paul Harmon. Yeah. Uh, he was killed in December of 1981. And at the time that he was killed, I, I lived in Cabell County. I lived on Jefferson Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, Officer Harmon was killed pretty close to my house. Oh. And as a nine-year-old kid, I didn't understand. Right. Right. So I'm asking all these questions like, well, you know, it's like, hey, a, a police right, officer was right. killed. And it's like, yeah. well, why would someone kill a police officer? Right. Like, right. They're, they're good. They're good guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that really had an impact on, on, on my life oh, and my career. Because you, if you look at the values that, that Officer Harmon displayed, mm -hmm. courage, sacrifice, mm -hmm. commitment, integrity, citizenship, patriotism, all of those mm -hmm. things that we really want to aspire. You know, he was a hero of mine as yeah. a nine-year-old. So, uh, and I never forgot Paul Harmon. It's been 40 plus years. Isn't that something? That's amazing. Never that forgot that story. And I'm so proud to say that Paul Harmon is in my book. Oh. Yeah, I and that's in him as inspiration. And there, yeah. that's what people are maybe around here who might not even necessarily be into this genre, right. they might find it interesting. Local people would find it interesting because there really is a lot yeah. of local things that are tied up in here. Yeah, there's Geno's Pizza, there's yeah. Marshall <laughs> University Thundering Herd, yep. there's uh, teachers from Vincent. Yeah, there's a lot of West Virginia. I'm a, I'm a very proud yeah. son of West Aww. Virginia. Yep. That's yeah. wonderful. Well, we wow. can't thank you enough for coming in here and yeah. sharing this information about the book. Um, and uh, you're going to be doing any signings coming up here? Yeah, do have some signings. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, like I mentioned, I'm speaking at Spring Valley High School at 9:30 right. a.m. Uh, so okay. that's Tuesday, December 3rd. And then I have my first book launch events, which is right around the corner here. Okay. Uh, 5:30 to 7:30 at the Inner Geek in uh, Pullman Square. Pullman Square. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Wednesday, December 4th from 5.30 to 7 at Book Tenders okay. in Barbersville. And then Thursday, December 5th from 5.30 to 7, 
Broadway Books in Ashland, Kentucky. Well, you're going to be all over the track. Yeah, I'll be all over I the know. place. That's, and that's uh, true. if anybody wants to come out and say hey, because I haven't seen them for decades, Aww. that'd be awesome. That it would be. Uh, yeah. Do book signings. We can do pictures. We can uh -huh. set and catch up. I would love to see a lot of people out there. Uh, I think it's a great book. I'm obviously biased. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, I think people are really going to enjoy this well, book. Well, Daryl, oh, thank you great. so much for coming in. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so service. much. Yeah, yeah, of course. Best it was of a luck privilege. And thanks for yeah. your service to our country. Yeah, yeah thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that.